Uh, last week, my chief of staff, Bill Daly, uh, informed me that after spending time reflecting with his family over the holidays, he decided it was time to leave Washington and return to our beloved hometown of Chicago. Uh, obviously, this was not easy news to hear, uh, and I didn't accept Bill's decision right away. Uh, in fact, I asked him to take a couple of days to make sure that uh, he was sure about this, uh, but in the end, the pull of the hometown we both love, uh, a city that's been synonymous with the Daly family for generations, uh, was too great. Uh, Bill told me that he wanted to spend more time with his family, uh, especially his grandchildren, and he felt it was the right decision. Uh, one of the things that made it easier was the extraordinary work that he has done uh, for me during what has been an extraordinary year. Uh, Bill has been an outstanding chief of staff during one of the busiest and most consequential years of my administration. Naturally, when Bill told me his plans to go back to Chicago, I asked him who I thought could fill his shoes. He told me that there was one clear choice, and I believe he's right. So today I'm pleased to announce that Jack Lou has agreed to serve as my next Chief of Staff. Uh, let me begin, first of all, by thanking Ruth for allowing Jack to serve in what I know is one of the most difficult jobs in Washington. Uh, but Jack's had one of the other most difficult jobs in Washington. For more than a year, Jack has served as the Director of the Office of Management and Budget. As anyone who's been following the news lately can tell you, uh, this is not an easy job. Uh, during his first tour at OMB under President Clinton, Jack was the only budget director in history to provide, uh, pr preside over budget surpluses for three consecutive years. And over the last year, he has helped strengthen our economy and streamline the government at a time when we need to do everything we can to keep our recovery going. 